Hello everyone, this is Theo. In today's video, we are going to talk about the practice of testing your art supplies or your drawing materials first before you use them to draw and paint, before you use them to create art that you want to keep. There are happy accidents and there are nasty surprises. The nasty surprises are the ones we want to avoid. So today we are going to talk about some things that you can check first before you draw and paint with all those um, materials. I'm going to talk about pen and ink, watercolor, and paper. I'm going to split this video into two parts. This first part that you're watching, this is on pen and ink. In the second video, we are going to talk about watercolor and paper. So with pen and ink, if you want to use them with watercolor, the first thing to check is whether or not the ink is waterproof. It's very easy to test the waterproof quality of the ink that you are using. You just test it on some scrap piece of paper, like what I'm doing right now. So this is Sharpie, which is supposed to be permanent black ink. We have this brush pen that I have filled with Lexington Grey ink made by Noodleless. There's this Create Hake brush pen with the ink cartridge that is provided. This is Noodleless Bulletproof Black ink that I have filled inside this fountain pen. And with this brush pen, I have the Sailor Kiwa Guru fountain pen ink. If you want to use watercolor over the ink or if you want to use water-based markers or alcohol-based markers, you should always test the ink first. So now I am testing the waterproof quality. And it seems like this three, they are waterproof, but this, the Create Hake brush pen, the ink is not waterproof. We have Noodleless. Now, this is a very interesting ink because on some paper it's more permanent and more waterproof compared to on other papers and also how much time you let it dry also matters a lot and this is a very slow drying ink so it takes a long time to dry and sometimes it doesn't dry 100%. Some inks are water resistant, some are waterproof. For waterproof inks you won't be able to get the ink to dissolve. For water resistant inks, sometimes you can still see the ink dissolving a bit. The ink here is Sailor Kiwaguro. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be waterproof, but you see I managed to dissolve some of the ink. So if I want to make sure, I would need to test this again. So in this case, I may create another swatch and wait for it to dry completely before I test it or I can test it with another paper. I've just dried this completely using my hair dryer, so we'll test again. So it does seem like this ink is water resistant, but not totally waterproof. The other thing to check is whether or not the ink will bleed to the back side of the page. This is less of a problem if you are using thick paper. This is 300 GSM paper, so even for markers like this, it doesn't really bleed through. But for really juicy markers, sometimes they do still bleed through. And if you are using thinner paper or using water-based markers or alcohol-based markers in a sketchbook, then it's best to do the check because if you have art on the opposite page, it's going to affect that. If you are creating mixed media art and for some reason you need to use fixative, do test the fixative on the ink that you are using first. So I'm going to go out and spray on this area and see what happens. I've just came back from spraying some fixative. By the way, you should always use this in a well-ventilated area. The smell is horrendous. All right, so let's take a closer look. The fixative was able to break the Sharpie permanent ink slightly. So this is without the fixative and this is with the fixative. You can see the edges, they are a bit softer. This is Noodleless Lexington Grey ink. After I sprayed this with fixative, it seems like the paper fiber is coming to the surface. And this is how it looks like without fixative. You can see the color, it's more intense. I've also tested the Uniball Jetstream pen, which is a roller ballpoint pen as well. And when I spray it with fixative, you can see the colors, they break up. 
Now this ink, this is actually waterproof, but when you spray with fixative, the color will break. Not only did the colors break, they also bled to the other side of the page. If you're using black ink from bottles, you should also test them as well. Not all black inks are equal. Some are waterproof, some are not. Some are safe for use in fountain pens, some are not. Some are very black, some are not. So for example, with the Dela Rowney Kandaha drawing ink, this ink is not very dark. So this ink is sort of like a transparent version of a darker ink. The black lines still show through very easily. Let's compare that to this Speedball Super Black India ink. This is the Speedball Super Black. And this is the Dr. PH Martin Bombay Black. So this is the Kandaha drawing ink. This is Speedball and this is Bombay. So you can see even for these three inks, which are all India inks, they look a bit different. Another thing to note is when you are testing ink, you have to see whether or not the ink will feather on the paper. Some paper is very absorbent and the ink may actually feather slightly. So this is the Uniball Signal gel stick. This is platinum carbon. You may also want to let the pen tip linger a bit on the paper to see if it would form a blot at the end. This looks fine. This is the Sharpie marker. You can see this paper is absorbing the alcohol ink. If you are using inks that are meant to be opaque, then you should test them as well. So for example, with this particular sketch, I drew the black lines first, and then I use opaque ink to draw over the black lines. And from what I can see, this ink, this is not opaque enough. You can see the black line show through here. So that's all I have to say about pen and ink. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comment section whether or not I have left out anything. And also let me know if you have drawn with inks that surprised you, you know, nasty surprises. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, which is on watercolor and paper.